Okay, I'm back with my f fourth video today, is that it? Uh, yeah, I'm fourth video today. At least, I made them today. I might not be yeah, put on today. But that's only because I have lots of wooden stuff that isn't out there, and I'm putting it out there. And, uh, I'm doing them in videos to where they're kind of related. I did the train one a couple minutes ago. When that was done, I did the RV one, and now I'm doing this one. So hopefully my phone doesn't die. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have basically these vehicles. Um, and I may put another one inside here when I'm done. But what it is, is something I built a year ago in shop class. A Ford truck, a Jeep, an old Chevy truck, and my old school bus from last year. So, uh, I think we'll start off with it, with the school bus, because that's pretty big. I can get this off my bench when it's done. Here's my old school bus. Nothing's fancy, it's just a couple 2x4s put on top of each other. True duels in the back. 2015 International ICRE for rear engine, with the Max Force engine. That sucked. A couple times it almost let us, let us stranded inside the parking lot. Good thing my bus driver uh, was, I think he was part diesel mechanic because he always went to the back and always found out what the problem was and fixed it and we drove off. So, uh, yeah, number 32, gutless engines, but they were funny because I laughed every time something bad happened. I just painted it. This is from my shop class too. It rolls really good actually. Kind of waddles. And it's pretty close to uh, actually realistic what the bus looked like. Shape wise. All that. It rolls really nice. Got the engine back there with the muffler over there and the exhaust and the uh, radiator over there and all with the fuel tanks storage bins on those sides suspension, all that jazz Air National logo there bus number 32 lights, all that stuff and now I'm going to put that there next, I think we're going to get to this other painted truck now Inside my shop class, uh, when I built this, I was only allowed to use the drill press because he only gave us instructions for the drill press at that time. And uh, this is when my shop teacher really saw me or noticed me. I built 2017 Ford F250 Super Duty 6.7 Power Stroke. I love these trucks. So I built one in shop class. We got the cab there. This was all built by hand except for the drilling and making the wheels. <clears throat> so I hand cut out blocks of wood. I hand sanded it the best I could. I hand shaped it the best I could. Uh, the only thing I didn't use was I used the Dremel for the grill and the uh, windshield and doors and all that tailgate. Uh, I made the wheels with a hole saw, quarter inch axles, or dowel axles, or round stock, portion a bit out the wells, and that's all I did. So it's really, I didn't do much compared to how much I did on with all with my hand. And I painted it black, which is not the best color as you can see, you can see the wood grain, but it's a pretty cool truck. It rolls really nice. Down here I got the engine. The diesel engine, transmission, transfer case, your exhaust, and yeah. 2017 Ford F-250. Built since 2016. Looks pretty cool. I love this truck. This is one of my main accomplishments right here. I think we'll move on to this one. This one doesn't roll, because I tried to make it to roll, but it looked funky when I did it. So, uh... 
what this is is a old Chevy pickup truck like in the 30s or 40s 40s I'm pretty sure so uh, you got the grill there I got my secondary uh, rims or uh, fenders with the headlights in them really shiny wood when I put that polyurethane coat on it running boards right here as you can see on both sides got my uh, fenders here back too my bed bed sides I cut this out by hand with a knife and some thin wood wrote a Chevy on it because I only had room for Chevy my license plate that says great on it underneath it just got a popsicle stick engine and transmission and I tried to make these roll like I said but this wood was not working very good for drilling as you can see I kind of did it and I, was, I, was, I put something on top of it but it just didn't work and it rolled funky and it had like a weird hydraulic three wheel kind of look to it and it, I didn't like it so I just glued the axles on and made it not roll still one of my favorite trucks though that I've built so there's that and I'll just leave that there this is something I actually built on my own time a Jeep but it's I call it a keep my name is Caleb and uh, it's a Caleb Jeep so uh, a keep and the thing is because my friend gives me crap about it all the time because it's a four slot grill and Jeeps have seven slots although I couldn't fit seven slots into there he still won't let it go so I call it a keep but it's supposed to be flat fender style as you can see flat fender style Jeep black walnut there the grill with four slots the headlights the bumper got the uh, windshield frame there inside here you just got your steering wheel seat the back of that seat fell off I got to glue that back on but I haven't uh, four-wheel drive sticks right there shifter for the transmission is right there so first second third fourth and it even has the boot for it down there as you can see no doors got my spare tire back here in the back seat spare tire got my gas, jerry can gas tank that's just a nail I drilled into the side and put it in there some reddish wood bottoms basic as you can see but yeah I don't I haven't actually like started building frames that actually have axles in them and make and kind of look realistic on the bottom till recently so in this I built uh, fairly recent but it was a couple months ago before I started doing that. I've only started doing that in like within the past two months building frames and making them realistic this one I just wanted to uh, get a solid frame this is more of a toy it's a pretty good toy it's really good and you know what we're at nine minutes I know but I gotta put this extra vehicle in or else uh, I'm gonna have to make an entire video for it a uh, new video and it'll only be two minutes long so I'm gonna do it right now I'm gonna go get it ah yes my first actual shop build that I clear coated instead of painted uh, I just got the bandsaw on my license so I was allowed to use the bandsaw in shop but I took this one home anyway during uh, Easter, I think, and at my I was at my grandparents' house, and I just cut it out there at my grandpa's shop, and I did pretty much everything. I drilled, and I built the wheels at school. Um, I got a two by four, and I was trying to build an engine at school, but the shop at school doesn't have very good wood selection, so uh, I didn't wasn't making a good engine. I was trying to make a darker engine, but it didn't look right because I had only light wood on a 2x4 here. And so I just built this engine there at uh, my grandparents' house. 
But this is when my shop teacher actually like realized me for what I could build. It's a road grader. I know the blade doesn't touch the ground, but it goes out like that. I got lights on it up here too. Back there, back there, down there, all that. I got cedar wood blade, cedar wood uh, cab with the seat inside there, the lever, steering wheel, and there's a light in the top with a black walnut roof. It's a cat diesel engine in the back. Some nice wood there I used for the uh, valve cover. Pretty good engine. It rolls really good too, actually, when the wheels don't lock up. Yep. So I decided to put this one there, or else, like I said, it'd be a two minute video, and this video is at two minutes and eight seconds. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, those are all my. Cars, school bus, Jeep, or Keep, and a road grader. So uh, please like, please subscribe, and we'll see ya.